What's up YouTube? Today I'll be doing a small overview or a small review about the Playseat office chair. Um, I actually wanted a new chair, a new office chair for my desk or a new desk chair, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, uh, I've chosen a Playseat, which is awesome. Um, I'll, I'll get down here because people can't see me. Uh, we had a desk chair before and it was okay, but it didn't have like a whole back support thing Well, it had back support, but not all the way up to uh, to my neck or the back of my head. So I Said to the missus, you know what? I want a a race chair, you know, like a bucket seat so I wanted to combine something and uh, Also have uh, a chair that could be used for gaming. I'll just remove this a little bit as you can see it's complete leather and big surprise here, there's a big fat hole here. There's a big fat hole here, as you can see. So people who already uh, searched on the interwebs know what this chair is for. So I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. Be right back. As you can see now, it's a fully functioning. It's just a seat where I can now use my G27 in. And it has this like nice clip on the side for the shifter uh, just built back the paddles because i missed them and put this steering wheel on it's from um, a friend of mine who actually donated me a nardi wheel so i'm pretty chuffed about that see there you go and um yeah so this is actually my new office chair slash play seat these things are annoying so what you do you have a couple of points here but only you only need one see these slide out so that's awesome. That way I can get in easy, like a real race seat. Here we go. Power! I don't want to fucking screw up my fingers again like I did yesterday. There we go. See, here's another one. Whoop de doo. There we go. So, yeah, you actually have four points underneath the seat for. Uh, two positions of these uh, armrests and you can also uh, get them uh, uh, reclinable in height or adjust them in height and as you can see now now I can just go and put myself down here I can just get in like this which is amazing there we go and the only thing that's annoying is just this big brace sticking out and oh, the G27 Cables are really annoying, so put them over to the left side on the desk. And um, yeah, I'm trying to start up a set of Corsa right now, which is dope. Bear with me though, I'm really shitty at these games. I normally use a controller, been doing that for a couple of years now. Friend of mine, actually, Ramiro, shout out to you, uh, sold me this steering wheel, um, which we fixed together because it had like a uh, a pedal that was broken which was like a super easy fix and uh, yeah now we got this whole setup and I tried to, to like cut down a home trainer to make a specific place seat for myself on the floor here on the couch and stuff like that but it all didn't work I could also put this steering wheel on the, the desk but then I don't have a place for it to use on my PS4 or Xbox one whenever I buy a specific converter to use it there um, yeah, other than that, uh, this is just great. I mean, I can move it anywhere. I can just like flip off this, this whole brace thing, which when I do it like this, looks really dirty, which when I do it like this, looks really dirty, but you understand how it works and I just explained a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. Bought this reasonably cheap off, uh, off the internet. And um, well, this is just great that it works like this. I mean. It's really nice to have like uh, a sitting position like this and it, even when I sit like this I can recline way to the back. I can adjust my whole back position like a real race seat. Uh, like I said I removed the, the side things, the, the arm mounts, the, how do you call it, the floor mat, mount floor mat, there we go. I'm in a bit of an awkward position with my legs, but other than that, I need to fine tune that stuff, so yeah. Oh, 
not great. See, it works fine. I mean, I can move, of course. But yeah, um, overall, when I'm sitting like this and... Well, I'm, I'm really high up right now with my, you know, with my feet as well. Like, uh, I almost feel like I'm driving in uh, an MPV or an SUV. So, I have this little switch over here, of course. Let me see. Uh, see, there we go. We can go lower. We can go lower. So, yeah, this, uh, like I said, you can recline even um, your, your, your butt setting. Like, when you lean back, way, way back. Son of a bitch. Like I said, I, I'm so bad at these games. I mean, I'm just testing everything out and it's, it's funny though, just driving around like this. Yeehaw. So yeah, all in all, it's a real great seat. Um, Everything works fine for me. Uh, I'm actually really, really happy with this. Uh, like I said, I can do this. I can get even more back forward. It clicks even like when I'm leaning forward. So it has a lot of settings. Um, the stuff that you can use to like tilt back, what I'm talking about, I'll try to use the camera a little bit. This is the button, you have to like uh, switch it. Um, yeah, because of it's heavy right now, I think the spring is a little bit overloaded. But if I use it like this and then pull it upwards, let me see, then it will go up, of course. Just needs, needs a little bit of help. Come on. I'm not on it right now. See, there we go. Now it's completely up. And um, then you have this like little lever over here. Uh, this one. If you pull it up, see, it flipped back. You see these things over here? This hole is what you can use to like put it down so that the, the butt area tilts a little bit back. So now it's back on the, the safety setting again. And uh, this one is broken, stuff like that. The, like for the, the dust and stuff like that, the protection. But yeah, it's really sturdy. Um, even on carpet or even on this, this floor protector, um, it does not uh, put me back that much when I'm like using the pedals with my feet. You would think that if you're on this chair, uh, with the way it's built and it's actually pretty sturdy and heavy you would like slide back with the wheels the wheels roll really good but it actually doesn't it doesn't put me back that uh, that often or much at all so uh, yeah I'm fine with this whole setup like this with this floor with the pedals like that and this little bit of carpet with uh, the clamp down on the G27 uh, foot pedals and yeah everything whoa Everything works just fine. So, like I said, I'm really happy with this. Nice, sturdy stuff. You can move these around front and back a little bit more. Um, I try to move them back, like way that way, so that this clamp can go further that way. As you can see, it's at the end. So, big people really need to like uh, move this, this uh, back stuff to the back. Uh, because they don't have enough room for their arms, I think. So my brother is almost like two meters uh, tall. Uh, he's going to have a little bit of problem with this. But I'm sure we'll figure something out with like the, the, the seat at the end, the back support to put it way back. So uh, yeah, that's about it. We got this little clamp over here. Everything you see, they're holding it, everything down. I'm missing one of these little blocks in the back, but it doesn't matter because this thing... This whole bracket is in here. I used uh, two screws here in the, the bottom to mount this. There are like two screws or something uh, with an Allen key um, uh, provided with this whole setup. And then this whole bar to put this on. I'd rather have the, the shifter over here, of course, like a real car. But, you know, beggars can be choosers. So this, like I said, it's working uh, very well for me. So I'm pretty happy that I got this as a office chair slash game chair slash uh, having a fun time. I can use this even for watching movies because it reclines so far to the back. And if I wanna just lay down because my mental breakdown or whatever, <laughs> then I can just chill in the chair and uh, have everything done. So like I said, I'm super happy with this. See, I'm 
I'm still trying to learn this whole thing. It's difficult because the car, uh, it's not like in real life. I don't feel everything in, in, in this whole setup. I mean, sure, I feel things in my arms with the force feedback and everything, but that's about it. I don't know what the car does on the street. See, as you can see, sometimes it works just fine. I can barely hang on to it, but... I mean, I can do lots of like tweaking with the tires and like the gearing and all that, but I just want to like keep going with this. Keep it like moving with all the standard stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter if you have like the best car in the world, you just need to like come to grips with it and just try it. two decent corners let's see if we can keep this up let's see if we can go in here Thanks for watching everybody don't forget to hit that subscribe button if there are any questions about this chair or my videos let me know if there's anything you would like to see specifically let me know as well and thanks for everything cheers